Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. In this video, I'm showing you how you can easily record a video on a Mac and also how you can instantly edit your footage, such as by trimming, customizing and auto subtitling your video. In this case, we're gonna use Veeds Recorder and Veeds Editor and all you need is an internet connection and a web browser. So to get started, head over to your browser and type in the URL box v.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. And now we automatically started a new project and we're prompted to record our video. So to make this happen click on the record button and enable camera and microphone just click on the button and as you can see it enabled my camera and my audio as well so if you want to change your camera or audio head over to settings and you can change the camera settings uh, and audio settings if you like there are a couple of options you can choose from for instance you can record your entire webcam as you can see with audio or you can just solely record audio by just turning off your camera or you can record your webcam and screen simultaneously. So in this case, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select screen and I'm gonna select a Chrome tab, a flying squirrel, and I'm gonna click on share. So now I'm observing the screen I'm recording. And as you can see on the sides, there's a blue mark there, which indicates that this is being recorded or this specific section is being recorded. Now I wanna head back and as you can see, you can see my face in the left bottom and you can see the screen that I'm recording. And before you start recording, you can also change the themes if you like, if you wanna spice it up a little bit. Don't worry by the way, because you can also change this during editing later on, which I will show you. But let's say you just wanna change the structure a little bit or have like a template, this is the place to be. You can also change the background if you like to whatever color you wish and also add a teleprompter, which is really helpful if you have a script and you just wanna read it out loud, but you don't want your viewers to see that. So now I'm pretty content with how it looks like and I just wanna record a random video about flying squirrels. So to get started, simply click on start recording in the right top. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my presentation. It's about flying squirrels. They're one of my favorite animals of all time. Just look how adorable they are. If I had to choose to become an animal, this would be the animal. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you want to stop your recording, simply head over to the right top corner and click on stop. And after a moment, we can watch our video back. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my presentation. It's about flying squirrels and we can start editing the footage. So to start editing, head over to the edit button in the right top corner and it redirected our entire recording into Veeds online video editor. And the best thing about this is we can start editing everything. You can just edit your webcam and edit your screen recording, the background, whatever you like. And as you can see in the video canvas, you can click and drag everything around and you can restructure everything just the way you like basically. But before we start customizing I want to trim the footage so head over to the bottom timeline where you can see your webcam layer and your screen recording layer in this case I want to trim them simultaneously so I need to click and drag in the video canvas and drag over them to select them both or you can hold the shift button and select the other one in the timeline menu and then I'm going to click and drag on one of the sides to shorten the footage and I'm also going to do it at the end so now I'm going to explain how you can restructure your video I already kind of like this layout but let's say you want to have the entirety of the screen just select the screen recording in this case and click and drag on one of the sides to extend uh, the entire footage. And the same counts for your webcam. You can just click on it and use the side and corner options to basically resize it and reshape it. And we're gonna make it a little bit of a square. Oh, there you go. And I also want to round the corners. As you can see, if I select it in the edit video menu, you can round corners, just simply enable it. And I'm gonna put this to a hundred. And as you can see, it's round. And then you can make it a little bit smaller by holding shift, it will stay in the same shape as it is. So now if I play back the video, welcome to my presentation, it's about flying squirrel. Everything just works out. But like I said, I just wanna have the layout that I had before, so I'm gonna quickly change it back. There you go. However, I'm gonna keep this round because I think it looks pretty cool. All right, now let's auto transcribe this video recording. So to make this happen, head over to subtitles in the left menu and then select auto subtitle because that's the more convenient option. Select the language you speak in your video, in this case it's English, and then click on create subtitles. And this can take a moment depending on the size of the video. And then after a moment, as you can see, Hey, what's up? Welcome to my presentation. The subtitles are added to the video. Everything should be pretty accurate already, so I don't need to change much. But let's say you want to, I don't know, change some words or correct some words. Just select the words in the transcription box and just um, type in whatever you want to type video presentation. And if you hover in between the transcriptions, you can add a new line or merge lines together. And on the right, you can, with the help of the timeline cursor, change the duration or simply head over to the bottom timeline where you can click and drag on one of the sides to extend or shorten the subtitles 
or reposition or retime them by clicking and dragging them from the middle. Now in the video canvas, you can use the side and corner options to resize the subtitles and you can rotate them as well. But if you wanna fully customize them, head over to styles in the subtitles menu and you can easily change the font style, the size, the color, background color, background style, and much more. And if you're satisfied, you can restructure everything again, of course, you can just simply select whatever you wanna change or reposition. I'm gonna raise this one a little bit and this one too so that the subtitles have more room to show itself. There you go. Now let's have a quick look to my presentation. It's about flying squirrels. They're one of my favorite. I like it, I like it. And finally, before I export the video, there are so many things you can add, but I just wanna add an audio visualizer. So to make this happen, head over to elements in the left menu. And as you can see, you can add shapes, emojis, progression bars, a lot of stickers, whatever you like. In this case, I'm gonna select a sound wave. I'm gonna click on view all. And I'm gonna select, let's say this one. And again, I can use the side and corner options to resize the audio visualizer and click and drag it from the middle to reposition it. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put this one below my face and let's have a look. Hey, what's up, welcome to my presentation. Nice, I like the idea, I like the idea. And when you clicked on the audio visualizer, a sound wave menu pops up and you can easily change the color, the decibel control and duration. In this case, I wanna just change the color, uh, let's say to blue, there you go. I just wanted to make it very solo, so that's why I chose the color. Now let's have a look presentation. It's about flying squirrels. Yeah, cool, I like it. And there's just so many things you can still add. You can add text, you can add transitions, filters, drawings, and last thing, if you wanna change the background, if you're not content with it, just head over to settings. And on the background, you can see the image that we selected as a template in the video recorder. But let's say you wanna change the background color, just simply select color and select the color you prefer. Or if you wanna have a different image as a background, just simply select upload and select something from your folder. So now I'm pretty content with my video that I recorded on my Mac and I wanna export it. So to make this happen, head over to export in the right top corner. Then choose your preferred render settings. Make sure burn subtitles is enabled and click on export video. And after the video is rendered, you can watch your recording on the left. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my presentation. And as you can see, the audio visualizer is added, the subtitles are added, the background is added, and my webcam is added. Everything is in there. So if you wanna share your video, click on the big blue share button below the video and you can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can directly upload your link to your socials or embed the video onto your website. Or if you wanna download your video to your device, click on the download button below the video, click on download MP4, and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, that's how you easily record a video on your Mac. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day and good luck.